morning students so last chapter we have seen the first chapter that is multimedia and desktop publishing in that we have seen the basic components of multimedia so what are the basic components of multimedia the basic components of multimedia are text images audio video and animation and then we have seen the five which are being supported five formats of these five basic components of multimedia file formats so for text we have seen the this text format and for audio we have seen the mp3 and rea and for video we have seen the jpg file formats like that and then we have seen the steps in uh, giving a multimedia project okay and uh, what are all the uh, team members those who are involved in creating a multimedia project and then we have seen the applications of multimedia so these are all included in the chapter 1 and we have finished the chapter 1 now we are moving on to the chapter 4 2 and 3 we will see in the upcoming videos now i am going to chapter 4 so there is no confusion between the any two second chapter or third chapter or fourth chapter this is the new one we are going to learn so in this chapter we are going to learn about the introduction to phd so we are going to learn a new language phd okay in the last 11th standard we learn about html and javascript So in third standard, you are going to learn about PHP. So what do you mean by PHP? So introduction to PHP is the chapter concept. So PHP is what's the full form? Hypertext preprocessor. What is the full form of PHP? Hypertext preprocessor. Okay. What is the full form of HTML? Hypertext markup language. You are learning in third standard. So this is PHP hypertext preprocessor. Okay, this is the full form of PHP. First, the PHP was known for uh, it is the for website uh, website scripting languages. Okay, this is the script side language. The JavaScript is the client side language. This one is the server side language. Okay, server side scripting language. So PHP is a server side scripting language. So in the what was the purpose of writing this language is? The language create for the game. Now, uh, Dina, you have learned the language standard Tim Berners-Lee, who created the concept of Internet and World Wide Web. Tim Berners-Lee wrote the for the Internet and World Wide Web. Every day, every day, we are learning uh, using no. And that kind of picture is 1990s. Yeah. So, after the create for the Internet, some of the part of the create for the people programming language there for the. So, he needs a programming language for performing this Internet and World Wide Web. So, that that uh, that time. they founded this php language okay so these types of website languages was created that time of the terms of at the year of 1990s so this is the most one important one php so this full form is hypertext preprocessor it is a open source language it is very easy to understand and it can make it the code is very easy to create okay so this php code la enna panna code easy to create panna it is open source and more over it is very easy to understand also Okay, so the PHP language that we are going to cover is called Rasmus Lad. Rasmus Lad. Okay, PHP was founded by created by Rasmus Lad in the year 1994. 1994 la PHP language that we are going to cover is Rasmus Lad. Okay. So the language is called our language. So in the language, is called it is the Malayalam script side language. So we have ASP, .NET, and JSP. That is the Indian language equal to that, and it can be used as alternative for those languages also. Okay. So this is the uh, introduction to PHP. This is the hypertext preprocessor. So the every work of so it is it will be run in by via an interpreter. और इंटरप्रेटर मोड़ा माला ना हाइपरटेक्स कोडिंग ना मैंने पढ़ा हुआ है एवाल कोडिंग पढ़ा हुआ है और एक्सेक्यूट पढ़ा हुआ है ओके बाप तो देर आर मेनी वर्क सर्वर्स दोस तू इंटरप्रेट्स दिस पीएसपी कोड ओके तो देर आर सम अपैची बेस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आईएएस दिस सॉफ्टवेयर्स और सपोर्ट द पीएचपी � It was uh, used in the year 2017. So in the year 2017, they created this version, the version PHP 7.0. This is the latest version. Okay. So we are going to see this type of version only in the practicals also. 
So this is the concept of hypertext key processor. It was used by for the world by the internet based languages. So this is one of the languages. It was created by Rasmus Nadal in the year 1994. It is easy to understand and easy to create. It is an open source one. And in the version, latest version is PHP 7.3. It was launched in the year 2017. Okay, after this I think you have understand. Next we are going to client server architecture. Who is the client and who is the server? So client is the one who requests anything from the server and the server is the one who responds to the client's request. Okay? We are not going to do search for the client. And the server is the one who has a response to the client's request. Okay, now we are going to learn about client server architecture. Client server architecture. Network architecture. When we are using network architecture, the business model is client server architecture plays an important role. Okay, the main theme of the network architecture is sharing of information. So when we want to share the data or information from one computer to another computer, this client server architecture was most useful. Okay? So they what will be they doing is they will be sharing the information from one hardware to another hardware. This is the main uh, target of network architecture. They have to share the information, that is uh, one information for more than one hardware system. If you have information in one computer or one hardware, one computer will share the computer. That's why we have a network. So, that's why we have a network based on the client server architecture. So, like this, the client server architecture. So, server is a machine which can run more than one application at a time. And the client is a separate hardware machine which can be also used for running an application. Okay, so client is the one who uh, asks the request from the server and the server is the one who responds to the client. Both client and server can be called as the uh, requester and the receiver. Okay, so client, so client machine is very, server machine is very, right? the receiver no server, no, requester no server. Okay, well. now next we are going to see three types of or client server architecture. There are three types of The three types of client server architecture are first one single tier architecture T I E R single tier architecture two tier architecture and next one three or multi tier architecture. Okay. So the three types are single tier architecture, two tier architecture and three or multi tier architecture. So client server architecture na, in and tell you other three types of follow. First single tier architecture. In single tier architecture, this architecture is for the server. This architecture is used for the server. The three types are used for the server only. The first single tier, the architecture is used for the server but access by the client. Okay, so the simple server in single tier architecture, this or uh, the single tier architecture is used for the server access by the client. Yar kaha use pandra server kaha yar access pandra client access pandra. Okay, ba? In the end na the client uh, application is run inside the server. Amo application kuro kuro apni na taniya mandi to server machine kuro ki arthu par arthu par mandi kulla. It is inbuilt, so the application is run between the server itself. Okay. So there will be a diagram given in your book so that this is the system and this is the server database. It is running inside it. Okay, client and this will be the server, database server. So the application is running inside the server machine. That is single tier architecture. Then we are moving on to two tier architecture. In two tier architecture, there are two levels. First one. Uh, the client will be the first level and the server will be the second level. So in two tier architecture, there are two levels. One is the client level and the one is the server level. That is, the client asks the request to the server. The server gives the response to the client. So there will be the diagram in your system. So there will be two levels. So this one is the 
client level. So there will be three systems or four systems, many systems connected, and they are uh, asking the request from a server. This one is the server. So there are two levels. So that one is the two tier architecture. Here also, this architecture also is used for the server as by the client, but the two levels. And the uh, third one, three or multi tier architecture. Here also, this type of architecture also is used for the user. Three types are used for the server as by the client. But here, the client decides whether it may be a three or four or five uh, levels as per the software they are using and they want for their program. Okay. So the end type of uh, data information change for the yeah, information on the transfer control. Other put the client decide for the three level or four level or other one multi level server or not. Depends on the client. Okay. Ba? So there will be three levels one, two, and three. So the first one will be the client, and next one will be the application software. So as per well the business logic, in the business logic follow up for all the other application of use for all and the application of the levels and the last one will be the server. So from server it is moving on to the application uh, software and from application software it is moving on to the client. Okay, so these are all the three types of client server architecture, single tier architecture and the one the client server machine will be able and then two tier architecture the rent level will server over level, client over level and three are multi tier the server, client one, server one and the in between will be depends upon the business logic what type of software they are using. I think you are clear with this client server architecture. Next we are going to see how the uh, website programming are created. So PHP programming, there are two types of website uh, website uh, programming languages in this. Client side is one thing and another one is server side. So PHP is a purely server side scripting language. It is not as Java, this one is the uh, client side programming language. Java is the client side programming, it is PHP is the server side. Yeah. PHP Mandre as C plus plus Java Mandre, it also has a class concept, logic, comes and inheritance, etc. If C plus plus Java class of the inheritance, the Argo, Adi Madri, PHP class of the inheritance and the purpose groups comes into the object oriented programming comes in the Lamy Rayu. Yeah, it is also a well fleshed language. So now we are going to see web development. What do you mean by web development? Web development means it is creating a website and we are posting through network. Okay? So we are creating a website and posting through network is the general concept of web development. The website development includes the content of the website, web page designing, web security and so on. So web development is the website that we create post and the web development is the content and the page design and the security is the same as the web development. Okay, next we are going to see how the PHP script works. Working of PHP script. So first, the PHP script or uh, web server PHP script is uh, created by a programmer and it is kept in the server machine or a server remote machine. Or a programmer on the PHP script on the development or server remote machine the rest of Okay? Then a client. So client client has B, the user. So what will we go? We will go to our system and we will type a URL in the web server which is installed in our system. And we will type the URL of a website or a web page. Then the, the, the particular request is given to the server. The remote server, the web server uh, searches and interprets the PHP code and give a response to the client machine. Okay? So when a client types a URL or a, a website or a web page in the client browser, then the client browser makes it as a request and it goes to the web server and it is inside the remote machine. Then the remote machine creates the interprets the PHP code and 
and it gives a response to the client machine. And once the client machine get, receives the response, it gives the output in the page to the client user. Yeah. So client level to what the number of the system open money, number system view, laptop view, and a one more web browser, browser, internet explorer, and a Google Chrome or the host of Firefox are all the web browser. Other than OE and a one year, or HTTP link to a website link URL, or type on a website link to a web page, or a URL type on a type on a one year, other than a good request of Google and a great dog. And the request on the server is in the The server is in the same way. The request is analyzed and the response is in the same way. The request is in the same way. The request is in the same way. We have a web server and the web server is in the client machine. So, we will display the display. We will open the web server and the web server is in the same way. This is the PSP code workout. Okay? Thank you students.